Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to another video. On this one I have a Nissan Qashqai 2011 and I'm just going to be checking the um, coolant level um, and the percentage of uh, coolant in the system. I'm going to be using this gadget here. It just uh, shows you how um, how much the coolant can withstand uh, temperature wise um, for winter so if you get your bonnet open you will find the coolant in this tank this is the expansion tank here uh, now just remember if the engine's been running um, this can be very very hot so just wait until the engine is cooled down um, to check this or you if you open it uh, just open it very carefully um, slowly so you can avoid uh, any issues burns or anything like that um, but once you get this cup open um, you can see the coolant in there I'm just going to shine the light in there so we can see a little bit better. We have a max there and you have a minimum there. And so the max line is up here. You can even, there is a line on it actually, um, which pretty much uh, goes with this line here, just a little bit over. Um, and the minimum, it's uh, is down here, and there is there also is there's also a line in there, but I can't film it. But nevertheless, you want to be at the top. If you're in between the minimum and the top, it's okay. Uh, that's normal, uh, and you can top it up a little bit if need be. You can see uh, this coolant is uh, green in color. Um, that's. Uh, that's basically where the level should be. If this is empty, then uh, if that is empty, then we have another problem. And coolant might be leaking somewhere. Uh, could be the radiator, could be anywhere really. Uh, so then you would really have to investigate what is going on. It could even be this tank. Sometimes this can leak um, and then this is empty, but the system is okay. Um, it, they can leak from from down here because at the end of the day they're only plastic um, and they can crack they tend to have little hairline cracks where they leak from um, not so much on these cars but um, I have seen it on other makes um, so once you've established the level is good I'm gonna use this to check the percentage of antifreeze so that's just uh, settling at around minus 28 possibly around minus 28 so that means it will need to be minus 28 degrees or minus 30 degrees for this to freeze, for this coolant to freeze. And uh, hopefully we're not gonna be having those temperatures anytime soon, um, but you never know. So um, I can just see that's even settling at minus 30 now. And that's a, that's a very good level. So I'm pretty happy with that as well. And with this gadget, you can also see um, how clean or clear your coolant is. If, if it was contaminated with oil or anything like that, you will be able to notice as well. So it's a nice little gadget. It's quite old now, this one, but uh, it works very well for sure. I'm sure there are more modern ones out there. Um, so once you establish you have a good level and a good percentage, then uh, you're good to go um, into winter. <laughs> so 
i hope this video helps thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe